<laughs> Good. How about you? <laughs> uh -huh. Went great. Went great. You know, yesterday we backed off, and I'm really glad we did. This morning we came out and had a, a fantastic practice. There was a lot of uh, the suddenness in and out of their stances. They were very crisp, not many mistakes. I thought it was very close to game-like speed, even though we were in shells and we weren't tackling. It was very physical thud, good execution on both sides. I thought it was a, an, an, an A, letter grade A practice this morning. And then, uh, it, you know, run game looked good, special teams was good. You know, just a lot of really encouraging things this morning. I think the team came off the, off the field this morning and felt really good about themselves. Not only had they responded, but it executed really well. It's one thing when you're trying like hell, and it's another thing you're trying like hell when things are going good, you know, and the things went well this morning, and they, they felt good about themselves, you know. And then uh, we came out this afternoon and uh, knew that they would be, you know, stove up and sore, and they were. And, uh, we trimmed a little bit of the practice schedule off, but not the hard parts. We did a lot of team and did a couple of uh, finish type drills, and they tried real hard. And we're not ready to finish a game yet. You know, watching the team you know, work on finishing. We made some mistakes when we got tired. We turned the ball over some when we got tired. And get lined up right some when we got tired. And that's, that's why we're doing the drill, to find out where we're at. So we need to, to really continue working hard on being able to finish when we're tired. We've got a plan you know, to help them prepare you know, for that part of the game. I think as a team right now, we become ready. I think they've done really good as far as starting fast. And being into it, we're proud of them. We have to push them hard on the finishing part. That was evident today. I don't think anybody gave up. I thought they all really tried hard and, and did very well uh, effort-wise, but the execution wasn't anything like it was this morning. So we have to keep working hard on being able to finish. You got mentioned with Gooden, uh, he's more mature. You've, you've kind of seen him make some strides. Uh, how? Well, he's a graduate now. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's a big start. He's, he's a you know, Purdue alum. That's exciting. I know he takes a lot of pride in that. Our whole football team and family is very proud to, to see a Gerald graduate. Uh, he just makes better decisions, carries himself a lot more like a grown-up. Uh, he's really trying hard to be a good leader. I see a lot of good things from Gerald Gooden. I think he's really grown up, really grown up a lot since he came to Purdue. Have other players graduated yet? Or is he, is he the only one on the team that... Uh, man, you caught me at a bad time. I was thinking about football. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Why? Silly me. Yeah. yeah. Don't apologize. <laughs> With the, uh, the experience that most of those guys got last year, some of the younger players, are you opening up your playbook anymore this year? We, we you know, did, did some new things last year, and some of them we kept, some of them we liked and kept, and some of them we you know, put on the shelf. We have our playbook. Our playbook isn't real big, to be honest with you. It's not near as big as it used to be. We're trying to do a better job of executing what we have. You know, Defensively, we put a lot in early. And I think that slowed the offense down a little bit today because they put uh, they put some fronts and coverages in the first practices, and a lot of them. And then, uh, so we saw a lot offensively at the beginning. And today, they started bringing some pressure. They started bringing some glitches and, and slanting the front and you know, walking linebackers up and, and doing some things. To, Disorient the offense some. It was a good test for our offense. We need we need to work at it. I don't know that we have we have opened up the playbook. Not all of it. Not the whole Atlanta Bridge edition. This is what we think we're going to need to get ready to play with. What's the likelihood that Caleb plays in Week One? A lot of that will depend on how things go the next two and a half weeks. You know, again, I, I think uh, Robert Marvin is really trying hard, but you know, his, his knee. You know, obviously he's not ready yet, mm -hmm. so his his reps are limited. When he feels good on his limited reps, he does very well. I thought he ran pretty fast today. I thought he threw the ball pretty good. He still has a lot of zip on the ball, but it swells up, and he doesn't have uh, enough confidence on it yet. Uh, but uh, I think he might be, you know, going through the, the next phase of, the, of, of his uh, recovery. So we'll see how it goes here in the next several days. If, uh, if Robert's ahead, he'll play. If Caleb's ahead, he'll play. And you know, health may determine it. And reps between now and then may determine it. But we're going to play two of them in the first game. Mentioned that several times that we will get two quarterbacks ready to play, at least two quarterbacks ready to play this season. You don't get them ready by sitting on the sidelines watching. So we're going to play two quarterbacks in the first game. We have a plan to do that. We've done it before, maybe not so much here, but the 11 years that I worked for Coach Nellenberger, he was always played the number two quarterback somewhere, usually in the first quarter, always you know, trying to get one ready. And that's going to be really important for us you know, to have a number two quarterback ready to play. 
So is Caleb getting more reps with the rest of the ones? He's been getting reps with the ones and some of the twos, and okay. Coach Noor's been rolling them all in and out. You know, we we're a, a, a very close football team and family, and and uh, Coach puts a guy in there somewhere, and, you know, he goes in, and somebody comes out, and, and we don't uh, pay a whole lot of attention to the depth chart in practice because sometimes we have to roll guys in just to get reps. You know, and the depth chart is posted in the locker room is the one that tells me that. You know, as far as first, second, or third team, but we'll roll them any way we want to in practice. Sometimes just to get through practice. Sometimes to give the guys some special looks. Sometimes to hold a guy out because he needs a little bit of rest. But uh, we can rotate the quarterbacks with all different groups. With Henry, Henry mostly with the ones. He hasn't got much of the twos. With uh, OJ not being here, who, what receivers have you been able to get a look at uh, in his place? I think Silver's doing really good. He's, he's sore now. You know, and maybe slowed him down a little bit, but he's. Like we talked yesterday, has really uh, progressed. And Tavian, and, Ta and Tavian Edison is doing very well, you know, as he always has. But I think he's grown up some. He's a little more reliable as far as his routes and his blocking. He's always giving good effort, just hasn't been quite as detailed with his uh, assignments at times. I think he's doing very well, and I think Gary Bush has, has uh, you know, gotten better. Uh, the guy that uh, I think has really stepped up uh, is uh, the freshman Raheem Moster. We're getting him a lot of a lot of work. Some on special teams, you know, a lot of different you know, work on offense. You know, he's a guy that's been getting you know, some love out there and some reps out there, and, and looks good. We'll be, we'll be glad to get OJ back. He'll come back with fresh legs and make us better as soon as he gets here. Any idea when he'll get back? So hopefully tonight. I haven't asked the coaches, but hopefully tonight. But everything's fine with OJ. It's just, it's just a family thing, and sometimes you got to stop football and, and take care of your family too you know, once in a while. Do you anticipate Ralph being an every down back or how deep he's going to running back for? Well, I don't know if we have any anybody that's other than the offensive linemen that, are, that could be every down players, and I think we'll play some offensive linemen. But it's hard to, to play a running back every down just from the physicality standpoint of it. Uh, is he, can he do everything we want him to do you know, talent-wise and skill-wise? Absolutely. He can block, he can run, he can catch. If he could last 80, 90 snaps a game for – you know, 13, 14 games, and we'd, we'd go with him every down, but he won't last that long, you know. So uh, I think we have uh, we're very strong in the backfield. I think our running backs have become a lot more physical in the last couple of years. They have a, a tough, hard nose, a position coach, and I think it's, uh, it's, he's taking his toll on them. They, they're, they're very tough. They run hard. They block hard. I like Ralph back there, and I like Akeem Shavers back there. They're really skilled players. They're tough guys. Uh, you know, uh, Gavin Roberts, in my mind, was our third halfback, you know, up until a couple of days ago. He has an ankle injury, and uh, he may have to get surgery on it. You know, and that it won't be nothing, it won't be something that holds him out for the whole season, but probably about half of the season we'll probably get him back. You know, with that in mind, you will know, take a look at you know, some of the other guys in the backfield. Uh, I really like Akeem Hunt. And whether or not he's ready to play this year or not, I'm not sure yet, but he's very, very fast. He's, he's blistering fast and exceptionally quick. And he shows some real toughness. And then Brandon Cottom has also been working and getting some reps at the fullback position. He's very, very talented. He's a 255-pound fullback that runs very well. And we're going to get him ready to, to probably play some this year. I like our backs. Jared Crank and Reggie Pegram are tough, and, and they hard run, so they run hard. So we have some backs to, to, to get the ball to that run hard, that'll block. I don't see us uh, you know, running thin on running backs for a while. For this season, anyway, so I like where we're at running back twice. Uh, much further along than we have been the last two years at the running back position. Did Gavin yeah. break a bone or something? Uh, I've got to get a little more details on it. You know, there's a lot of little things down in your foot, and we want to get you know, more details later on it. But you know, they're saying he might have to have some surgery, and if he does, he would be out till you know, four to six weeks, and then possibly back, you know, ready to roll in the mid-season a little bit before that.